when you see someone at the fruit stand, you start talking about this coronavirus. When you go to the butchers, you start talking about this coronavirus. Amid a COVID-19 outbreak in Italy, the Canadian government issued a travel advisory for the northern part of the country. A former Montrealer and his family living in the region are adjusting to a new routine. I, I usually travel a lot for work. I travel about 150 days a year. And so I can't travel anymore uh, because I don't want to get stuck quarantined somewhere. Um, so I'm home with the kids. Italian-Canadian Frank Scaglione and his family of five are living in Ravenna, Italy, in the northern centre of the country. They're 300 kilometres from quarantine parts of Italy, but are seeing lifestyle changes all around them because of the virus. The kids are out of school, you know, they're cancelling big manifestations, uh, uh, the canceling, you know, Serie A soccer games. I mean, it's it's pretty serious. Classes for his three young sons have been suspended for the last two weeks, and they might not resume for at least another week. Scalione says they're trying not to make the kids seen here playing basketball a few days ago worry about the situation too much. People are trying to get on with their regular day life, but it's it's obviously it's impacted dramatically. <laughs> This was the scene at his local grocery store last week, people stocking up. He says although there's a few cases there of COVID-19, they shouldn't be panicking. The first cases that we started getting and the first deaths, people were really like scared and really shocked. And after a week of this, and it's getting worse, people are kind of understanding that they're putting it in context, saying, okay, well, you know, we probably had similar amounts of deaths for flu during the same amount of time. But nobody's doing a countdown of how many people are dying from flu. In northern Italy, there's been nearly 2,000 cases since the outbreak. He says although travel advisories in place will impact the country economically, they'll have to cope with it for the time being. It's something that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, but, but there's probably going to be travel bans all over the place soon. So, you know, it's probably best that all of us stay home then, I guess. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.